home. Even more than home. Because what's home? What's home? It, ho a home means you feel at home. I feel at home here more than in Cairo, more than in any other place, because I meet friends. We talk almost the same language, in spite that I differ sometimes with Bruce <laughs> about passion and compassion and God and goddess and all that. But still, this is home. And that's what we need. We need really to have a new conception of home. And we have, when Brecht Forum becomes our home, our world, then we can change the world. Yeah. In this place, in this place, I met friends. Fauzia, I met her here. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth, who's standing all the night here, yes. behind the camera, please. The, the, the unknown soldier, the unknown soldier is working. She's the founder of Brecht. And she's, I, I was looking at her, standing all the time. Elizabeth. I met uh, Barbara. Where is Barbara? Barbara Aziz and all, all the people here. I want to mention all of you. I know all of you by faces. Sometimes I forget the names. That's why I feel at home. So, I, uh, I will be very brief because I know you are very tired, but I would like to say, <laughs> I would like to say that I enjoyed the program. Fauzia, you did a great job. This, yeah, this combination, the parts of the film, I've seen this film several times, and I was illuminated by it this film by, where is Catherine Foster? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah this is a beautiful film. <laughs> and uh, all the art, the music, the poems, everything, I enjoyed it. And that's why I have nothing to add, except to say that I enjoyed it. And enjoyment is very much related to illumination. When we enjoy something, we are illuminated, we change. We become other people, and that's the power of creativity, the that it changes us. Um, Bani, Bina Sharif, where is Bina? I'm here. Yes. Uh, I loved your poem. Thank you. And especially when you ask a question, why the war did not stop? This is a question I am asking to all of us. Why the war did not stop? Why we cannot change the world? Why we walk millions in streets demonstrating against Bush, against Mubarak, and Sadat, and Saddam, and uh, uh, whose, whose name? Uh, Asif, uh, Zardari, and Karzari, and all those people. <laughs> we, 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 we walk the streets against all those people and nothing happens. Of course, something happens, but we did not stop the war. We did not change the world. My question is why? And uh, of course, I don't have answers, but I have some ideas that we have to work together. I think we did not stop the war and because two things. We, we as Brecht Forum, as intellectuals, as progressive socialist feminists against capitalism, patriarchy, class, oppression, war. We have the knowledge. We have irreversible knowledge about the world. And we can speak very well against patriarchy, against religions, against um, capitalism, against racism, we have irreversible knowledge, but we did not succeed to make this irreversible knowledge among the majority of people. When the majority of people have this knowledge, what we have, then, as Miriam said, 
then when this knowledge, this progressive knowledge, is transformed to action, then we will have the revolution. That's the point. Because the majority of people are veiled. We have the media. We have the educational system that veil our mind. We have the academia. I've been teaching here in the United States since 1993. We are veiled by the academia, by fragmented knowledge, by pseudo-knowledge, false knowledge. So when we unveil the mind as writers, as creative people, when the people start to transform the pseudo-knowledge into true knowledge, and then this becomes collective and irreversible knowledge, then they go to action and we can change the world. And this, this forum, this Brecht forum will be the world. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Yamala. Ladies and gentlemen.